What's up guys, Travis with T-Customs Productions. I got a video question sent in from Bill on Facebook. Uh, he's coming from a Reason background and was having some issues in the arrangement view in Ableton Live. This is applicable to Ableton Live 8 and Ableton Live 9, so I just wanted to answer his question uh, in this video. Okay, so here's his question. Every time I click on a place in the timeline, it automatically plays. So you guys have been using Ableton Live, you know that when you click in the timeline at the top, it shows this little speaker and it will automatically play the track from that point. Now he wants to know how do you make, how does he make the cursor just sit on a single spot in that timeline? So how would I start like a new starting point and have it play from that point? This is actually a really simple solution. Okay, so when you open up a new session in Ableton Live, I'm sure very similarly to any other doll, playback will start from the beginning. So if I hit play, you're gonna see the status uh, playback starting from the beginning. Maybe you can see this little flashing orange uh, cursor. And so if I click inside the track, not up here at the top, but inside the track, uh, let's say on the ninth bar, you'll see this little orange status change here. Now within Ableton Live 9, if I click play, uh, playback will actually start temporarily from this, this little orange status marker. And on the 17th bar, if I hit play, it'll start from here. Now the problem with that is when I hit stop, that actually resets back to the beginning. For argument's sake, let's say for right now, I don't wanna start playback from the beginning and I wanna have something that's at least semi-permanent that I can start my new playback from. So let's say the first eight bars is an intro and I wanna start playback right now and I'm working on a track at bar nine. Okay, and I don't want this to race. If I hit stop, I don't want this to go back to the beginning. So what I can do is up here at the top where it's, you're seeing this little speaker icon right now, if you click, if you right click, add locator, it's gonna bring up a, a, a little marker, okay? And so now what you can do once you have this marker is you can set a new starting place. Sometimes I'll use them just kind of as identifiers. You can also name them. So if I want to name this, you know, uh, bridge or something during my arrangement, if I wanted to visually be able to see all of the different elements. Well, let's just say I want to do a uh, new start. And let's say I want to start that now at bar nine. So once I have this locator or this marker in place, now all I have to do is right click on the locator itself and hit set song start time here. And so now what you'll see is this green icon is now on this marker. So anytime, even if I hit stop, even though this orange is here, when I hit play, it will start playback from this new start point. Now to take it a step further, you can also use the loop region to do the same thing. Let's say I wanna set up an eight bar loop at uh, bar 17 starting here. So I have this loop region set up and now all I have to do is right click on the loop itself and set start time and now you'll see it shift over here and this is where the playback will start now. Uh, you can obviously delete these locators later if you don't need them or if you just want to remove the start time and then it will go back to your default uh, start time at the beginning. This is a quick video, but hopefully this was helpful to some of you and hopefully this answered your question, Bill. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to submit them to ask at tcustoms.com. Video submissions are highly recommended. That way I can easily see what the problem is. I'm a very visual person versus just sending me an email with all this information. It's a lot easier for me to digest and be a lot more likely for me to shoot a response video and provide a solution. So again, feel free to send any questions. Video submissions are preferred to ask at tcustoms.com. That will be in the description below. Hopefully this is helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.